Hey everybody, welcome back once again. Um, I've just organized all the pieces, as you can see. Uh, let me get comfortable on this thing. Okay. And we are on bag two. So, let's begin. Okay, we don't need this guy just yet. I'll just stick him right there. Let's see, we need two of these. And they go right there and there. And that's kind of, yeah, that's an interesting looking formation we've got there. Then we need one of, um, oh, yeah. One of, it's a piece there's only one of. Oh, nope, there are two of it. Unless I have an extra. This, this goes in here. Oh, and I need sticker number eight. I've moved the stickers off because I needed more room for more pieces. Okay, number eight, that's this one. And there's another one, oh, another eight right there, so I might need it for the other side. I've considered pre-stickering these things, but nah, I'll just, I'll just let you see my stickering process. Okay. This is kind of interesting. It's like they extended the grabber part here. Let's see. Then I need one of these, one of these, and one of these. Okay. Then we put this piece here like that. Like that. And this piece goes right over here. This piece goes back here. I have no idea what this is going to be. <laughs> Which part of this? I mean, I can kind of tell here what it's going to look like when I'm done, but not much clue. Okay, there, and the gold, which looks orange in the, uh, in the instructions. Right there, and this goes up here. There we go. Turn the page. Now we need one of these and one of these. It's like these pieces were made to sort of make things look smoother, I think, maybe, because Lego is very, it started out being very blocky because it was just basically blocks, right? So um, over time, they just, they found ways of making things look smoother. Uh, we have a leg, more realistic maybe, if realism means anything in Lego. Okay, now we're doing sort of a mirror of that. Oh, wish I'd known we were doing that. I would have done it at the same time. Okay, two of these. Um, oh, let's see. No. No, like that and that. And then let's, uh, where was it? There, ah, well, there it is, there it is. Found it, found it. There we go. And then the other sticker number eight goes right here, right on here. Stick, stick, stick. Very nice, so that went, that's nicely centered. Excellent. Nothing like a nicely centered uh, piece. All right, one of these, one of these, and the other of this. 
Even though it's sort of a repeated step, I still want to be careful to do all this correctly because you never know, something might be a little different on one side. This is, uh, it's all about details here. And if you don't have patience for detail, Legos are probably not the toy for you. Let's see. I intend at some point um, to do some of the, the elves or friends sets. Not that I have any interest in them myself, but, uh, you know, I want to sort of do some sets that may be considered girly because really there are no girl toys or boy toys. There are toys that boys are generally more interested in than girls are and vice versa. Okay, okay, I'm good at doing two of this step. So it makes sense to me that um, some things are marketed toward one gender or the other, but that doesn't mean that boys aren't allowed to play with toys that are generally marketed toward girls. And they certainly shouldn't be shamed for it. Let's see. Here we go, and two of these. Okay, so this goes in here. There we go. And that goes there. The world is full of different people and stuff. Okay, now, a couple of these. Wait, yeah, yeah. Because it says one, so I'm doing two. Oh, this is gonna be one of those, uh, one of those steps where you put it in part way, then you put something else in there, and then you push in the rest of the way. Um, I think there was a step like that with the horse. Yeah, I wasn't too fond of that. But maybe this one will go easier. Let's see, a couple of these. Looks like a joint, maybe. Maybe this will go into a joint. There we go. There we go, that wasn't too bad. Now this one. And there we go, good. That took some finger strength. That's why I think some of these things, some of these sets are really um, more suitable for adults with steps like that. I mean, any kid doing that is going to need some help. Okay, two, or in other words, four. Here we go. All four of them. They go here and here. Every kid needs a parent who is into Legos. Not really, not necessarily. Every kid needs parents that just care about them. But Let's see. There we go. So far, so good. Now we need two of these. And two of these. And then that goes in here at the end. And this goes up top, up top. Now this is looking very stairsy. So I would be surprised if they didn't tell me to put some kind of, yeah, there it is. One of these, one of these shield pieces. I'm so glad that this this uh, Nexo Knights does this. Such great pieces. Useful for so many things. There we go. And then a couple of these and we need some stickers. So let's 
hold it. Okay, so it's like this. And it needs sticker number one. Oh, here they are. Sticker number one. So we didn't start off by doing sticker number one. It wasn't like the first sticker they had us put on. Okay, here we go. Is that good? Is that good? Uh, yeah. Yeah, that is pretty good. It's like a B plus right there. Not the perfect sticker placement, but it's all within the boundaries, so good enough. Let's see, this goes on here. Oh, that's nice. That's an A right there. Very nicely done. If you do a good job, it's not weird to congratulate yourself. I did a bad job putting that on there. There we go. It goes like that, and that goes like that. And I think these are knees. It makes sense that they would be. In fact, here we go. Here we find out that they are indeed knees. The bee's knees. I really like these kind of joints. When I was a kid, Back in the early 90s, um, I, w I would try to make robots, and there really weren't very many good robot pieces. And that was... Oh, okay. We're going over time a little bit. Next time, we'll start on step 63. So I will catch you then.